please sound your air horns at the count of three. One, two, three. So right now, the phone rings at the 911 center. The operator says, 911, what's your emergency? Yep. Now, that operator has one minute to gather the information they need. Who are you? Where are you? What's the problem? What's the address? They get enough information so they can uh, dispatch the fire department. So dispatch will occur at 1 minute 15 seconds. Currently, we're at 30. Don't step on the hose. Watch that fire. Uh -oh. 40 seconds and counting. Not yet. That's yucky. Why? Oh, stinky. That's why they wear the mask. We're at one minute. We still have 15 seconds before the engine company's dispatch. I know. It's okay. It's not. There's no people. <laughs> the fire at which, or the point at which a fire becomes deadly, is called flashover. If we're going to save lives, manually firefighting, we have to get there before flashover. We're at a minute 21, we've just been dispatched. The engine company now has until 2 minutes 35 seconds to hit the street. Now imagine this is in your living room. This is what's coming up the stairs into your bedroom. You can hear some glass breaking in there. Yeah, that's a big yucky fire now. We're at a minute 55. We still have 40 seconds before the engine company hits the street. The fire, see, that's big now. We're at two minutes. 15 seconds at the mark, Mark. Yeah. It's 20 seconds before the engine company hits the street. Flashover has occurred in the room of origin. Nobody in that room is going to survive this. And if this is what's in your living room, this is what's coming up your stairs after you. The engine company hit the street now. So even if the engine company is sitting right next door to your house, this is what they're going to see when they arrive. NFPA 1710, National Standards for Fire Department Response for Career Fire Departments, gives the engine company four minute travel time to get to the scene. That arrival time will be six minutes, 35 seconds. And right now, we are at three minutes, 10 seconds. If you're on the second floor of your home, you're trapped, you're probably dead. Everybody can feel that heat? This is what's in your...
Anybody see anything? Yeah, I see some. Alright, so the clock starts. Again, you dial up 911. 911 operator says, 911, what's your emergency? 15 seconds later. They now get uh, 60 seconds to dispatch the fire. We're at 17 seconds right now. We dispatch at a minute 15. The fire continues to burn. I joined the fire department some 42 years ago. A long time ago, I'm an old man. The fires didn't burn the way they did then. Flash over when I joined the fire department was occurring in 20 to 25 minutes. The fire department had the opportunity to come in and make a difference. That's no longer true. Bingo. Sprinkler head just went off at 50 seconds. The fire department has not even been notified. They have it at the 911 center. The fire department will be notified in dispatch in about 12 minutes or 12 seconds. A number of years ago, I had a very good old fire chief that taught me a lot of stuff. One of the things he taught me was that if we had completely spread with communities, we could handle fire protection with two nuns and a bucket of water. <laughs> Since that time, my community has required residential support. Of course, we started doing that in 1988. I've heard every excuse on why you can't put sprinklers into buildings. I've heard no good reason. I've heard they cause too much water damage. The hose line you saw in 38 crew go in was probably doing a buck and a quarter, about 125 gallons a minute. The sprinkler head right there right now is doing 19 gallons a minute. You tell me, which is going to cause more water damage? But the difference is, even at 125 gallons a minute, what's left of the room of origin? Nothing. That's what's left of the room of origin with one sprinkler head doing 19 gallons a minute. This is why, five years ago, I got drafted by the state of Pennsylvania to chair the Residential Fire Sprinkler Coalition. I've gone to fires for most of my life. I've watched too many people hurt. I've been on too many fatalities. And the way to save those lives is to sprinkle buildings. Unfortunately, the state of Pennsylvania is taking sprinklers out of the state code. And they're not permitting communities to put them back in. There's something wrong with that. I think if you guys want to walk up and see the difference, the burn here is done. I think we made our point. We still got fire over here. We'll get 38 to uh, mop it up. Okay. Once we get this mopped up, we are guests to go take a look. It's your living room tonight at 2 o'clock in the morning. How do you sleep at night? By the way, that's why we tell everybody to sleep with their bedroom doors closed. Because the smoke that was coming out of the original uh, room there is going right up your steps. Uh, you don't have fire doors on your bedroom, but it will give you some extra time to wake up and get out. <laughs> homework. Any kids have homework tonight? Put your hand up. Now, you tell your parents that they have homework tonight. Parents' homework tonight is to go home and make sure your smoke detectors work. Because if your smoke detectors don't work and you sleep through this, you may be having what's called the long sleep. And we don't want to see that. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good afternoon.
Avenue, Medic 3 3 1 Rise of Avenue, Medic 3 3 1 Medic 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 